Don't miss Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with Ryan Seacrest. You should never tell a psychopath they are a psychopath. It upsets them. Are you upset? With 2018 almost over, we've enjoyed taking a look back at some of the standout moments in film and television. From the best documentaries to the best performances and beyond, THR has been reflecting on a stellar year of entertainment that has seen perhaps more diversity and inclusion than ever before. With that in mind, here we take a look at the Hollywood Reporter's picks for the international talent that stole the screen in 2018. Did you just look at me? Did you? Look at me! Look at me! How dare you! Close your eyes! Olivia Colman has been a household name in her native England for almost 19 years with critically acclaimed performances in both The Night Manager and Broadchurch. The BAFTA winner also took home a slew of awards for her portrayal of an abused wife in Tyrannosaur. It was 2018's The Favourite, however, that has seen Colman ascend to new heights. Her portrayal of Queen Anne in the dark comedy, which also stars Rachel Weisz and Emma Stone, has so far landed her a Golden Globe nomination and placed her among the frontrunners for the Best Actress Oscar. Coleman will continue her role portrayals in 2019 when she begins her two-season reign as Queen Elizabeth on Netflix's The Crown. Have you been feeling any anxieties or stress recently? I had quite a heavy period last week, but other than that, I think I'm okay. Jodie Comer is killing it with her portrayal of Hyde assassin Villanelle and Phoebe Waller-Bridge's Killing Eve. In the series, which has been renewed for a second season, Comer takes on the role of the psychopathic antihero in a way so fresh it has landed her a Critics' Choice nomination alongside her co-star Sandra Oh. The 25-year-old actress has also been cast alongside Ryan Reynolds in action comedy Free Guy. We've been dating for over a year now and I think it's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. Henry Golding stole the hearts of many moviegoers this year with his turn as the swoon-worthy Nick Young in Crazy Rich Asians. Golding, who was a former model and travel show host, not only helped the John Woo-directed flick pull in $238 million worldwide against a budget of just $30 million, but he changed the game in terms of Asian representation in marquee movies. And things are just getting started for the Malaysian-British actor who has been cast opposite Kate Beckinsale in a film to be directed by Guy Ritchie. Delivery for the Doctor. He's the Kaplan man! It's the war, the Kaplan man! You're just making sounds now. Much like Olivia Colman, Jodie Whittaker was already a known force in the UK thanks to Broadchurch, on which she co-stars with Colman. The actress was also known in her homeland for the Black Mirror episode The Entire History of You, an indie sci-fi feature Attack the Block, among other projects. However, it was the announcement of Whittaker as the very first female Doctor Who that has made her a household name around the world, not to mention a game-changing face now at the forefront of TV's diversity push. Whittaker's debut episode as the Time Lord became the biggest series launch for the cult show in the UK since it returned in its modern form, and she has since confirmed to THR that she's set to return for at least one more season as the Time Traveling Doctor. Hey, look at your suit! You've been taking bullets, charging it up with kinetic energy! Letitia Wright started 2018 strong with her scene-stealing turn as tech genius Shuri in Marvel's groundbreaking superhero pick Black Panther. The Guyana-born Londoner then appeared in the lead role of Nish in the Black Mirror episode Black Museum, a performance which earned her an Emmy nomination. The 25-year-old has since become one of the most in-demand names in Hollywood, seeing her recently be cast alongside John Boyega in sci-fi romance Hold Back the Stars. To read THR's full list of the 15 international breakout stars of 2018, plus plenty more best of lists for the year, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.